Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can pre-generate your Minecraft world with Chunky. Pre-generating your world is very important to make sure that your server runs smoothly when you first open it up. It removes the task of your server having to generate chunks when people load them in, so then it can focus its processing power on actually processing the player's events rather than generating chunks. Obviously the downside of this is it will use up more storage on your server before people generate the chunks, but it's recommended that you generate an area small enough with a world border and then it won't take up too much space. So you're going to want to start off by downloading the Chunky plugin. I'll leave a link to this in the description, you just click download now. And then you want to come over to your server, go to your file manager, open the plugins folder, and we're going to want to upload the file here. So I'll just go into my downloads and put the jar in here. And then we want to go back to our console and restart our server. So now my server has restarted, I've just joined it again and I'm just here at the spawn area. So the first command you're going to want to run is slash chunky and this will show you all the commands available. But we're going to want to start off with typing chunky world and this is where we can tell chunky what world we're going to be using. So in our case it's just the normal overworld world which is called world and then it's changed the world to world. You then want to set the center of your chunk generation. So in my case we'll set it to zero zero so we just do center zero zero. And then you want to set the radius. So you can do this with the radius command and then just type an amount. So if I do a thousand, for example, it will generate in a radius of a thousand. However, if you've already set up your world border, you can just do chunky world border and it will just change the radius to the size of the world border. So for me, I'm going to use the world border value of 10,000.5. And then you simply type chunky start and it will start your generation. If you use the slash chunky progress command, then it will show you how long is left and the rate that it's generating at. And you'll also find it puts in your console the progress every few seconds. So then it's really just a job of waiting for all these chunks to generate. You'll also find that the storage in your server will increase over this time as more chunks generate. So I can actually stop this generation by doing chunky pause and then using chunky cancel as well. And then doing chunky confirm. And if I wanted to pre-generate my never world, I can do chunky world world never I can then change the radius to 10,005 just like my overworld and then start my generation in the never so a couple of other things you can do is you can use chunky shape and this will change the shape of the generation obviously most people want a square region because a world border is square but if you really wanted to generate in a different shape you can also define this before starting your chunk generation and you can also set the area by corners as well if you don't want to go from the middle and then define a radius but that's how you can pre-generate chunks on your Minecraft server. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please make sure to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe as well. And I will see you in the next video.